What's up YouTube? This is JP Panther back with another video. In today's video is another Star Wars discussion video and also some news update as well. So again, I'm on comicbook.com. This is the where the source materials, the, the art this video is coming from. And again, I will link the article in the description box down below so you guys can read out the whole entire thing. So this is what it says, right? Disney CEO Bob Iger says less is more with Star Wars. And I'm trying to read it. Okay. And he was on the BBC News uh, radio, I guess, promoting his book that he has. And this is what he says, right? He says, I have, I have said publicly that I think we made and I think we have made and re-released too many Star Wars films over a short period of time. Iger told the BBC radio when promoting his book, blah, blah, blah. This is what he says. I have not said that we were disappointed in any way. I've said that I've disappointed in their, I have not said that I'm disappointed in their performance. I just think that there's something so special about Star Wars films and less is more. And in September to, okay, Han Solo, okay, okay. in September 2018, months after Solo's disappointment at the box office, Iger admitted that the Walt Disney's theatrical Star Wars output was way too much, too fast. I think the timing decision, and as I look back, I think the mistake that I made, I take, I, I think the mistake that I made, I take the blame, was a little too much, too fast. You can expect some slowdown, but that doesn't mean we're not going to make Star Wars film. And trying to, you know, they say J.J. Abrams, the Game of Thrones writers, blah, 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 working like, but this is what he says. But I think we're going to be a little bit more careful about volume and timing, and the buck stops here on that. Here's the thing, right? And again, I really want to talk to you about this. I think, I understand where he's coming from, and I think a lot of it, the way uh, Bob Iger is talking about, I think he's trying to defend Kathleen Kennedy and her stupid decisions that she's, she's been making, and she's trying to cover her. She's, he's trying to pretty much cover her. He's like, I'm willing to take the blame for messing up Star Wars. And instead of Kathleen Kennedy getting all this heat, I will take the heat as the Disney CEO. First of all, Bob Iger... You are, you know, I'll give you, you are credible, stuff like that, you know, I mean, you, you are pretty loyal, you know, I'll give you that, but, again, you are kind of being like, okay, instead of blaming Kathleen Kennedy for her mistakes of messing up Star Wars, you kind of want to protect her and be her white knight, pretty much, and not admit that she is, not saying she's a bad businesswoman, but she's not a fan of the Star Wars property, like, she doesn't understand her audience. And you're trying to cover up and defend her when you know that she's been making stupid, terrible decisions. And Han Solo lost $400 million, maybe even more than that. And Disney, um, the Galaxy Edge and Disney World Disneyland is doing really, really bad. You guys are losing, a, you spent a billion dollars in Disney World and Disneyland and it's not doing well financially. And it's just like, bro, you know you're messing up. Let's just keep it 100. You're the CEO of Disney. And you know you are making a you you know her you know she's making a lot of stupid decisions, and it shows you that it's showing you in the box office as well, and it's showing you with the financial receipts and stuff like that. And also, I think he's kind of full of crap as well because Marvel has if you look at their Phase Four lineup, they have ten Marvel projects coming out in like not not next year but in 2021. You have the TV shows, you have the movies, you have all this other stuff. I don't want to hear about, oh, we have too much Star Wars, so we're going to stop less. And I'm like, Marvel, they're putting out like 10 movies and like 10 TV shows. like ten They're putting out like 10 Marvel projects in like one year. So I don't want to hear that. That is a bunch of bullcrap in my personal opinion. And if you're doing it with Marvel, you could do it with Star Wars, but I feel like Star Wars isn't that type of property. Star Wars, the problem with Star Wars is that it's the story about... Anakin and Luke and you guys are finding out real quick that it's not made to use as a guaranteed cash grab and I feel like a lot of that is waking them up and I do feel like the way the movies and stuff like that how people are very iffy in a fan base and stuff like that I feel like the way it's set up is that Star Wars is going to be on Disney Plus it's going to be mainly on television and it's not going to be on a big screen until like 2022 unless they do that old Republic story and stuff like that and I just feel like Bob Iger saying we need to stop less with Star Wars. I think he's also, he's like 50-50. Well, he's kind of right, he's kind of wrong. Like the other part, he's kind of right where it's like, okay, we got to slow down with Star Wars. But again, I know you guys are going to put out more Star Wars film because you guys just bought this for like $4 billion. And you're trying to recoup your budget and your money back. 
and not just break even. You want to make way more than just be profitable. So again, I understand where he's coming from from a business point of view, but also I think he has a social justice point of view as well. So business and politics don't always mix well all the time, especially with this franchise. Star Wars is not that type of franchise where you could just use as a guaranteed crash grab. Marvel you could do it because it's superheroes and the hero goes through some hardships and rises up and beat the villain, has the same kind of generic formulaic safe formula you can't do that with star wars star wars you got to treat like it's special but you could you got to treat like it's sorry sorry about that but star wars you have to treat like it's special not just a guaranteed cash grab and the fan base sees it and the general public sees it that's really it guys let me know in the comment section below rate and like the video and subscribe make sure you subscribe to this channel peace and have a great day and take care